All right, so I said I want to keep this as real as I can. And instead of just showing you the after, because I'm, I'm too busy trying to get things done, I'm not recording a whole lot now. Um, I didn't want to show you this part because <laughs> things didn't come out the best uh, when I cut out my paneling. Um, here's the paneling on this side. I haven't done the other side yet. I did this last night um, after I put in uh, two by twos around the windows. You can see it over there. But that's because there's such a gap that I couldn't just put it up. I mean, I would I was going to try and do it on the ribs, but there's only one there and there's one here. And that's it. So there's not much for it to hold on to. So I went ahead and got some 2 by 2s and also one by 2s And uh, the one by 2s are for the sides, but as you can see, the sides are smaller up top, bigger at the bottom. And I had cut some one by 2 for the top part and 2 by 2s for the bottom, but... The wooden piece that you see right there um, is in the way, and I didn't account for that when I did my template, so that's why it's looking a little crazy over there. But I'm going to fix that up, and uh, all these rough cuts and stuff, you won't see them anyway. You're going to see just the basic wall. I mean, the bed will cover this whole bottom area. Um, that, that kitchen area is going to cover that whole area. You won't see that, um, and I don't have enough to do one whole sheet on that side, so I'm having a piece together the pieces that I have left for that um, and I haven't put this side up yet but you can see what I've done over here I don't know if I showed you this yet or not cut the back out of this the bottom part for my battery area as well as to fill fit over the wheel well and I bought got that desk I showed you that part I do know that and I've cut um, for the wheel well I don't think you can really see but yeah it's cut out it's sitting up in there so is this one so those are in place. I'm going with this for now. I'm going to probably sand that down in some areas and paint it white in some areas. Maybe leave the top. But, yep, this is what this side will look like. Obviously not with the straps and stuff, but that's just to hold it in for now. But I'm going to pull that out after I get this one wall done and do this wall. And hopefully by the end of today, all my walls will be up. But, yeah, it's looking a little rough on some edges and stuff, but it's it is what it is you know I'm doing the best I can um, so I have a few pieces to cut out just little edges to trim up over there so that wooden piece could fit in a little bit better um, like I said this side is a little complicated because on that side of the wall over there there's nothing to secure it to because that burgundy velvet stuff is still there and there's really nothing beside the wall might try and screw a little wood into the side over there if I can fit some over there, but um, other than that, there's nothing really to screw it into. So my main places are going to be above and below the window where I put the wood in. Um, that's what's going on right now. That's what I'm going to be doing today is cleaning this up a bit, putting that in, and putting this window in on this side. I got my little buddy heater going because it's a bit chilly out right now. Sun's starting to come out a little. Um... I don't know if you can see, but I've spray painted up top, above the door. I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit to make it look nice. And you can see it up here as well. Um, it's not the best job, but from far away you don't really see the little drip spots and whatnot. But it's like a metallic navy from Rust-Oleum. Um, I like it. It's just my little hint of color because it's going to have white and navy with some accent colors as well. Uh, that's what's going on. I'm going to get these walls in so I can get started on this floor next. Well, I think I'm done with the walls, at least for now. Um, not the best job, but I have something up on the walls and it's insulated, so that's what matters. Plus, they'll all be covered. Um, I'm about to put this one piece up in that corner, see if I can. I don't know if it'll fit very well, but... Um, kind of disappointed on this cut over here. It's leaving a gap. I may try and uh, put something over top of that. But I'm thinking of curtains anyway, so it'll cover it up. Plus there's a gap over this, but I'm thinking of, I'm going to be cutting uh, the things that went under the windows, the piece of wood that went under the window that I kept. I'm going to cut the front part of it off. And uh may just lay that across here and see if I can attach it somehow. Uh, see if that'll work. But yeah, got the walls up. Get this all in place. Uh, 
He said, it's not the best job, but there's something up and it'll do the job, plus it'll be covered, so. Um, and maybe we'll do a little walkthrough to see if it's not letting the light out. So, I see a little bit over here, but this isn't very secure yet. I don't see anything yet over here. So, I think I'm good.